By the time Grimm got a hold of Sam, Reed's men were kicking in the Oval Office door. She was there, and she could see that the President's protective detail was going down. The plan was for Sam to meet with Grimm in the press room where they'd figure out what the hell to do next. Of course, Grimm already had a plan, one she hadn't bothered to tell Sam about. But that shouldn't have surprised him. Some things, and some people, just don't change. is all we need to worry about. And when Fisher comes through here, he's gonna get hit by so many rounds, it's gonna turn him into soup. Well, that's a cheerful thought. Ain't it? Well, what if he bypasses us? How? It's not like he can sneak through the air vents. Too small. I don't know. He's Sam Fisher. I've read his file. He does stuff like that. He did stuff like that. And after we're through with him, he's not gonna be doing it anymore. You're not getting through here. Your history, Fisher. Sam, where are you? I'm close. Get closer. Reed's knocking on the door to the Oval Office right now. Hostile! Hey, it. Shit! It's Fisher! Stay right. right! Target is not visible. I think I got something. Check that position. No wall! On the contact! Cannot get a visual on the hostile!
Wait for my signal, then take the security down. Whatever it's worth, Sam, I am so sorry for everything. I thought we were in a hurry. Right. We need to get you close to Reed, and we need to do it in a way that doesn't make him double-tap the President immediately. Got any ideas? One. But it's gonna hurt. Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. <laughs> Tom? I've got Fisher. I'm bringing him in. Don't do anything drastic until I get there. Sorry, Sam. You're going to the Oval Office. You've got to dress properly for the occasion. Hands? You comfortable? Ah, fuck. Get up. You've got an appointment with the President. All those years, you were lying to me. It was for the greater good, Sam. And I would do it again in a heartbeat, for the same reasons. Guess I never did know you. No, you didn't. And you still don't. I was wondering when you were gonna get here. Nice work, Anna. I see you got some payback in for the stun he pulled at the airfield. Well, he put up a little bit of a fight. Of course he did. And now he's here, the famous Sam Fisher, just in time to be useful. So how does it feel, Sam, knowing you're gonna go down in history as the man who assassinated President Caldwell? Fuck you, Reed. Of course, we'll be just a little too late to rescue her. And you'll be shot multiple times trying to escape. It's classic, but it's clean. You don't honestly believe that this is gonna work. The surveillance camera's footage is gonna show. Your cameras, we own them. Your security measures, we made sure the Pulse fried them. We're third echelon, Madam President. We own every bit of information that goes through this town. And if I want to, I can make it look like you were assassinated by two circus clowns and a golden retriever. So shut up, and you might live a few seconds longer. <laughs> That's not third echelon. It's not Lambert's third echelon. Last time I checked, he was dead. And guess what? Third Echelon nearly died with Tom. Him. You see, the president decided the agency wasn't justifying its funding anymore. She was gonna shut us down, leave America vulnerable to the sort of attacks you spent so many years stopping, Sam. That's not what- You had plenty of chances to talk, ma'am. Megiddo was willing to play ball and you weren't, so this is on you. And yes, it is really that simple. Caldwell's policies didn't match Megiddo's. Caldwell's gotta go. So you set off your EMPs, murder a city, and assassinate the president instead. Yes, it's a hard decision, but the right one. A wake-up call to the country. Proof that it can happen at any time to anyone. A reminder that we need to be vigilant at every moment. That we need Third Echelon to keep us safe. Treason. History will judge me, Madam President. And if it makes you feel better, I actually voted for you. If you think for one minute that I'm gonna beg Madam for my President, life. I don't care what you do apart from taking a bullet to the back of the head. How you go out is your own business. Megiddo isn't gonna give me a bonus for catching your last moments on video. To them, you're just an inconvenient policy decision. You're not even a person. But first things first, 
I'm gonna deal with Fisher. Unlike you, he's actually dangerous. What a shame, Sam, to waste a man of your talents. Then again, I can find a self-righteous homicidal maniac anytime I need one. Remember, Sam, this is for a good cause. What, no famous last words? Or do you need Anna to tell you what you should say? Or maybe just say, Fuck! Tom Reed just killed me! She was gonna shut us down. Leave America vulnerable to the sort of attack. Madam President, are you all right? Yes, I'm uh, fine, thank you. Son of a... Uh, that was a close You've got call. maybe two minutes before the army takes back the White House. Make them useful. How did Megiddo get to you? You don't want to know about Megiddo. You want to know about your daughter. You don't get to talk uh, about my daughter. Uh, you still don't get it, do you? Sarah didn't matter. Threatening her was just a way to get to you. And leveraging you was a way to get to Third Echelon. And Third Echelon, that was a way to get what they wanted out of the White House. You're the mole. You're the one Lambert was worried about. Very good, Sam. You finally see. You uh, son of a uh, bitch! Uh, you cost me three years of my life. Three years when I thought my daughter was dead. Move, move! Drop your weapon on the floor now! Captain, thank you for rescuing me. Now, I don't see anyone else here but us, and I'm sure you don't either. Oh, ma'am. Let's get you out of here. Thank you. Oval Office is secure. We have the President. POTUS is safe and secure. trial. I could use a good character witness. You already had your trial. You didn't have to do that. I disagree. There was a time where you wouldn't have said that. Things change, Sam. Yeah, things change. Remember what you told me, Anna? When this was over, everybody walks. I'm walking. You can't. There's too much left to do. Ask Lambert. I've done too much already. Sam, please. I don't know who else I can trust. Trust? Funny you should say that. Goodbye, Grim. I've talked to Sam once since he left. He told me that he and Sarah were gonna take some time to catch up. He talked about learning who was really important to you, why you always had to come back for him. He talked about family. And you know what the last thing he said to me was just before he hung up? Vicky said, Thanks for everything. I love you like a brother. Brother. That's family, right? Yeah. I thought so.
He's leaving out the part where we're headed in the country to Miramar. Well, yeah, but that was later. All we did there was take out the third ranking general and the ruling hunter and prevent a cross border incursion into Laos. At King Lap. Right, right, King Lap. The river crossing. Biggest damn catfish I've ever seen. <laughs> Details. The important stuff is what happened in Pattaya. We have to tell the story every damn time. Every chance I get. Anyway, we're in this bar pretending to be tourists. When this guy comes up to us, worst job of reading people I've ever seen in my life, because he figured Sam for a sucker. Most people do. He lived. That makes him unique. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So, this guy, he walks up to Sam, sizes in a mouth, and asks him if he wants to buy an elephant. A full-grown elephant. Yeah, like that makes a difference. The guy tries to sell Sam an elephant. And Sam here, he's got this look on his face like he doesn't know what to do. First time I've ever seen him like that. I was trying to figure out how to tell Sarah that she couldn't have an elephant. So Sam finally turns to him and says, Sorry, I already got one. Cool as ice, just like that. And the guy, <laughs> he believes him. It was either that or break his arm. I like to think I made the right decision.